Hello guys, I'm Sarfancy and welcome in this tutorial where I will show you how to pause your game in VR just with a button on your wrist right here. Alright, as you can see I have a zombie coming, all the moving parts, but if I press this button, everything stops and the whole game stops and I can still move, wonderful. You can also see here a text that shows me that the game is really paused if you didn't notice and if I put my hand in this ball I can reset the game and I can make the game play again, see? And let's try it again, come on pause, and do that. And zombie is closer and closer and closer. For this video you will need VR expansion plugin, so if you don't have it, don't worry, I have a video that covers how to install it, etc, etc, and also some other tutorials how to use it. So let's get to work. Alright, for start we need to find VR pawn. If you have followed previous tutorials, it will be in AA files and here as Vive pawn character. Or if you are starting from VR expansion plugin template, it will be in VR expansions, Vive and somewhere here. So I will go to a files and Vive pawn character, let's open it. And here in viewport we will add here a button that will pause the game once you press it. Let's start by clicking on that head mesh and hide it. So we will click here and disable visible, just make sure that you enable it later. Uh, then we will need to click on left motion, uh, left motion controller and add here add component and it should be VR button. You can of course add here any, any mesh you want, I will just use the regular one from template which means this button top. Let's rotate it a bit and change its scale. Alright, here it is under left motion controller, make sure that it's attached to it because we want it to move with that hand. And then let's click on that button and we will on button state change here in events, add it. And let's actually just pause the game. To test it all, we will set game paused and set it to true. That's about it, compile and see what it does in VR. So you can, you can see that it's on my hand, it's weirdly there, that's how I would describe it. There is a zombie nearing and all that. So let's try to press it. And what you can see that, first of all, my hands paused, but with my hands paused also everything else, which is cool and wrong at the same time, because we need to do something with those hands and few other stuff. But let's start with the problem with hands. As you could have seen, my hands just stopped moving together with the game, which is something I don't want. And it's simply because I am using in this project grasping hands, which, is, which are part of VR expansion plugin. If I would use default hands, which may be your case, your hands were probably still moving. But if you want to use grasping hands, which I would recommend of course, it looks much better in the game. Uh, you need to click on here on event graph and find here, no actually it's, it's much more lower here, my bad. And we will need spawn grasping hands and by default it's in my case set to true. But we need to set it to false. That simply means once you will press the button it will switch it quickly to regular hands and then pause the game which means that you will be able to use your hand without the problem. The other problem is that now you can press the VR button with whatever. If, if you would push your hand against the wall, it would still work and pause the game, which we don't want. So we will simply set here a branch that will check if interacting component is equal to something. And you can set it to whatever you want. I am going to use grasping sphere right because I have that button on the left hand and I want to be able to pause it only with the right hand. So I will take this grab sphere right and make sure that it matches with interacting component. So it will proceed only if the thing that presses the button will be our grab sphere right. It's not also not a bad idea to make that head mesh visible again. I don't think it actually changes anything but you know what it was by like this in default so let's not change it. I forgot to set up one more thing, uh, just by setting the spawning grab spinning hands to untrue won't really help us or to false. We actually also need to check if uh, what kind of hands it is using. So we need to also put in a function which shall be check spawn grasping hands, put it here and connect it right here on set game pass. So now it should work just fine. You will, you will be able to move your hands etc etc. We also need to be able to start the game again. You can just set up here text that will tell player press that button and set up it and after that button I will do something a little bit more complicated uh, because I want to show you one more feature of this. So we will go back into viewport and add here component. First one will be text 
and let's make sure that it's under VR root, which should be. Oh yes, it is. Let's put that text just as post. Post. You need to put it a little bit higher because height of camera is set up based on your height or how high you are. Hopefully not too high. It's not legal here. But if you compile, we will add here one more thing, and that should be some object. Let's let's say sphere. We'll take this sphere and put it a little bit lower. It should be close enough so you can reach it with your hand and this is way too big. So let's move it here and scale it down. And so what we will do here is compile, scroll down and uh, collision, pre collision preset is set to block all dynamic. I actually want to set it to overlap all compile and from that we will actually one more thing we will set it not to visible set it to invisible in uh, by the start of the game and invisible text uh, as well then click on that sphere and set it on component begin overlap and just leave it here for now because we will start by setting it or visible we will take these two components and set it visible so this text and this sphere will appear once you will pause the game New visibility set to true and the same thing for our sphere. All right, and now with on component begin overlap, what we will do is to check what it is touching because we want to continue only if the thing that's touching it is hand mesh right. Let's use hand mesh right. If this component is, come on, equal to this component, you can set it up differently. I kind of like this solution. And let's connect it here. And once that will happen, we will do pretty much a reverse of this. So first of all, we will set these two to invisible again. Then what you want to do is to get set game paused and set it to not true again, because you want the game to be running. And the last of all, you need to spawn grasping in hands. So you can again touch all the stuff you just need. I know what you think about your little pervert. Anyway, there is one more thing that we need to do. For you to really understand it, you need to know how a game post actually works. You probably know that objects in game tick. That means it's several times per second. In VR preferably 90 or 72 times per second, it will ask if it should do something. And what the pause game will do is to stop it all. What you can do is enable again uh, ticking for separate objects. So let's say that I want to use this sphere to interact with hand and it can't do it because it doesn't check every tick if it is touching it. But if I click on that sphere, copy it and go right here, click here set pause, set, click znamená put it here, set tickable when paused and let's set it to true. And you can actually, you actually don't need to do uh, put it here simply because you don't need to enable it every time you put your state on button changes. You can do it just on the start of the game. So copy it here. Let's go on, come on, back in event graph and somewhere here should be event begin play. Let's add here another pin and just connect it here. So now it will work even when your game is paused. Right, there is just a quick problem with uh, my hand mesh right because we are using it to interact with that sphere. It's actually it actually doesn't have set any collision. Collision preset is set to no collision, which is quite unhappy for us. So just for this case, let's set it to overlap all. If it caused any problem, look here. It's probably caused by this, but it should work just fine. All right, pause the game. And now this appeared. Let's try to put your hand here and look at that. The game is running. Everything works. Hurrah! Right, again, pausing it, everything is cool, everything is paused, and I can move my hands, pretty important, let's put it here, and look at that, everything is cool, again, and I also want to try if my grasping hands really work, let's try it on this, and look at that, everything works, let's reload the gun, kill the zombie guy, you know how it works, if you wanna see a tutorial for that, I have it also done, so you can check in the description, etc, etc. And there is one more quick fix we need to do. I have noticed that sometimes that there can be a problem with teleportation. When the game is paused, it still sometimes try to teleport it. And for some reason, it sometimes even works and get you in some black void, which doesn't of course work. 
So we can simply put here quite a simple branch and teleportation input right here. So before any of that, we will right click, put here branch. And simply as a condition, we will use is paused. Is game paused. Let's put it here. Connect it as you need. And make sure that you connect it into false. Because if the game is paused, you won't do anything. If it is not, proceed as normally. And let's quickly copy it and make sure that you have it on your other hand as well. If you want to optimize it, which is probably a good idea, you can compile all this into functions, just two different functions right here. And that's about it. If you like this tutorial, like the video, of course. If you really want to help me out, you can support me on Patreon, where you can, where you can also get project files for this tutorial, etc., etc., and all the previous tutorials as well. Well, that's about it. I suppose that I can only say see you later. So fancy out.